Hey everybody, this is just going to be a very short video where I'm going to be looking at the code in the Strategic Command Books uh, game. And this is intended for the developers. Hopefully they get to see this video. Uh, if there's a way you can contact them uh, to sp spread my word here, I would appreciate that with my viewers and subscribers. Because I'm really busy, you know, I just have time to do the, the games and everything, but... I don't have the time to research and actually, you know, contact the people directly. And I don't really know how some of the forums I went on, I didn't get an answer. So maybe it wasn't, uh, it was maybe a cut forum. But if any of you know how to get a hold of these people, uh, I would appreciate that I haven't watched this video. Now, let's begin with strategic to command World War II war in Europe. There is a massive, a big bug in here that I've discovered while playing and looking through the code. And what it is, is I just for fun decided as German, as the Axis to not accept the Vichy surrender. And of course, I took the rest of France. But I was not able to take Algeria and cause a French surrender. Thus, you know, I just kind of let the AI play it, it itself, both sides. And I just watched and it went through the invasion of Russia and everything. But one thing I noticed is... That come nine, you know, come after it, it, Italy and Sicily gets invaded and Italy gets knocked out, there is no D Day. And all I could see was American British units just fill up the entire British Isle, you know, just bomb Europe, but never ever launch an amphibious invasion. So I decided to look at the code and let's take a look at it right here. And here I found the blunder, uh, an error. Let's go to uh, campaigns. And let's look at all of them. It's Storm Over Europe I played. And let's go to scripts here. AI. Amphibious. This is what I felt like looking at. And you get all these triggers. And you know the difference. Uh, builds up amphibious for North Africa. Uh, and uh, Rome. No, an invasion of Italy. And you see this here, UK politically aligned with allies and not surrendered, and USA politically aligned with allies and fully active. Italy politically aligned with actors and fully active. You know, everything is cool here as long as these guys are. And the invasion of Italy does take place. But now let's go to France, uh, the invasion of Norway. That's where I had a problem. And let's look at the code here. Okay, it's this here, because around North Africa. This is still North Africa and Italy, and everything looks cool here. Okay, except right here. Here's a problem right there. UK prepares to attack France. UK build up Le Havre. All right? First line, right down here. UK politically aligned with allies and not surrendered, and France politically allied with aligned with allies and surrendered. Now here's the problem. And London not tactically threat. And here is the big problem. Germany does not accept Vichy, but does not capture Algiers. So France is not surrendered. But here there's a condition for D-Day for France to be surrendered. Well if that's it's really great as the German player if you know this uh, flaw here. Yeah, just continue the war with France, just capture it up to Marseille and all of that. Forget about the Mediterranean. Launch Operation Barbarossa. You never, ever have to worry about D-Day against the AI. And you can win the game that way. It's This is a bug in here. So that needs to be fixed. You know, Italy, just put a few units in Italy. But here, if you do not be she France, and France never surrenders because they still hold Algiers, you don't have to worry about D-Day. And I played this like, a, I, I let it play itself a month ago, and I noticed that. So uh, if the designers can watch this and see this, uh, there's a fix right there. I'm surprised nobody noticed that. It's been out for over two years. And it's the same thing over here. UK build a plus. France politically aligned with allies and surrendered. Wait a minute. If, you, if Germany doesn't be she and doesn't take Algiers, France is not surrendered. And it's all the way down here. And it's the same thing, I believe, with the United States. Yeah, USA prepares to attack.
Okay, I didn't even have the ally. I'm not tactically threatened. I don't know. I, American units didn't even move, so maybe it, it, the trigger is that British units have to move before the Americans. I'm not all this well versed in this code anymore, you know. But I mean, I can see the basic. But whatever here. <sighs> Okay, that's to liberate the UK. Okay, yeah, this is this is the code. The Americans always want to liberate the UK first, so you don't even... Okay, this is liberate the UK. Let's prepare. Okay, the torch. Ah, that's why the torch amphibious never happens either. It's because a lion and, ally and not surrendered. France politically aligned with allies and surrendered. Okay, if it's not surrendered because it's Algiers, then torch doesn't happen. But that's the main thing. D-Day just doesn't happen. Casablanca. France surrendered, of course, then it's... It would be a, a Vichy colony, so it's going to attack it. So I guess I haven't actually played it. I haven't played it this far because I'm all I, I always... Conquer England so the United States doesn't get to do that. But let me, let's go United States D Day. Ah, okay, no, that's Torch. We're still on Torch. Yeah, politically aligned and allies surrendered, but USA prepares to attack Italy. There's nothing about France with Italy, so that all this happens. Let's go. USA prepares in France, St. Malo, D Day. Oh, here it is, second line down here. France politically aligned with allies and surrendered, so if France is not surrendered and holds the capital in Algiers, U.S. will not hold D-Day. So this needs to be fixed, and this is in the original game. Yeah, it's the same problem, politically and surrendered. Okay, this is, needs to be fixed. And I believe it is also, yeah, I checked it. Even if you check in the 1940, I haven't checked the 41, 42, or 43. But let's take a quick look here. Attack in the West. Scripts. AI. Amphibious. This is all the D-Day stuff. Let's go down. All the way down here. Casablanca. Let's just do the U.S. Italy. Okay, here we have USA build up sometime. France politically aligned with allies and surrendered, so this scenario is also contaminated. This is only applies to 39 and 40. Yeah, there's already a Vichy state here, so we don't need to... That, that would, you know, it, it does work on 41 and 42. And anything thereafter, because there is a state of Vichy and France is surrendered, but for 1939 and 1940, uh, if you don't allow Vichy, but yet leave Algiers, un where France does not surrender, you will not face a D-Day invasion. This is in the strategic command World War II war in Europe. This is the bug I've noticed that hasn't been fixed. And surprised that nobody's noticed it in two years. I guess they don't... I play crazy, so. <laughs> All right, let's look at Strategic Command World at War. Uh, I think. Go to Campaigns. And let's look at the scripts. AI. Amphibious. Let's take a look. And then I'm going to talk about one bug. I don't know. D-Day. Maybe I'm, I'm just... Okay, UK politically aligned with allies and not surrendered. Ottawa not technically threatened. Allied units in England. Boom, there's nothing about a France surrendered. So uh, Canada here will attack on D-Day. So... Okay, this is all Pacific. Okay, USA will attack. Oh, they're going for Cardiff. 
I know exactly where they're going for so I can defend my game. Fort Williams, liberate, okay. Vichy, Algeria. All right, let's 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 see if there's a D-Day. Tripoli, Palermo. I just need one. Maybe they have messed it up here. Okay, Rabal, I've seen all these attacks, so, I mean, it's... Kind of not fair because then I know, you know, playing the Japanese what the United States tanks first, but I mean, this is, I mean, I, I do this too, so I mean, fixing up stuff here. All right, let's find. Ah, this is, this is a lot of, a lot of shit here, man. All right, where's the liberate the Philippines, Batavia? That's your worst D Day. I don't, see. Fiji. I just have to look this, and I know the order the AI will attack when you occupy, so I know where to set up my units, but U.S. prepares to attack France, D-Day. Here we go. USA politically aligned with allies and not surrendered. Ottawa, 30 allied units in England. <laughs> Nothing about France surrendered, so D-Day is going to happen here, so I think I think you're okay here. Just the other game, that's where there's a problem. Now, if you watch my video, okay, enough of this here, uh, U.S. play. Okay, I think everything's okay. I haven't looked at every everything, but if I do notice something weird in gameplay, I will double-check the code and see uh, if something is broken here. Now, there is something broken in this game concerning the UK surrender. And I do have, okay, scripts, 1939 World War, scripts, events, I guess, I don't know. Surrender. Now, surrender one based on a country surrendering. Uh, I cannot really figure all this out here because it's not in everything in English, but the thing that I noticed, me, she, okay, the thing I noticed in my playing, my my game that's on you, this channel, is that I captured Manchester first, and then I captured London, and the UK surrendered. Now, it says that if you capture London and then capture Manchester, uh, UK will move to either Canada or Australia and not surrender. But in my game, UK surrendered. Yeah, I can't find it here. It's somewhere. It talks about a UK surrender, but... But it doesn't give it all details in English. I don't know where it's at. I can't find it anymore. But if you watch my game, I captured Manchester first, and then after I captured London, UK surrendered, and I was surprised. So, you can fix that, but there's one huge problem. Just like in the other game, uh, uh, the Europe at War game, I mean, I can capture Edinburgh, Manchester, and London, which I've done many times, and the UK just moves to Canada. It takes over the whole country. It gives Canada just auto, uh, one little city, Ottawa, and a port. And then it just takes over the resources, and convoys start running to Canada from the United States and other empire parts and all that. And, and then the British start building all these units that just sit in Canada. And that is so unrealistic. Now, it's also unrealistic here that if just because I captured the capitals in the wrong order, that the UK surrenders and Germany gets a huge income bonus. It's just not uh, realistic and all that. Now, I do have a suggestion, however. Even in a war in Europe, if the entire Great Britain, the main island, is captured, uh, Britain 
should only get a city in Canada or in the world at war in Australia. Just get the city alone. The UK does not have the factories to support its allowable bills that is given. So what needs to be done is, okay, UK does not surrender. However, leave the units alone that are on the board and in the game. The UK gets a capital in one country, no convoy roads because you can, you don't have the factories to convert the raw material. So with the convoy roads out, all the UK get, I mean, the UK is still under British Empire income, so it's going to be getting income for India and all that. <laughs> However, India, Australia, and all these other countries will have their allowable bills. But the UK should be reduced probably just to maybe an army or garrison completely. If, if England proper falls to the axes, UK moves its capital to either Australia or to Canada, but not have any allowable bills or minimal allowable, allowable bills. So any units that are still on the map can continue fighting. If they get destroyed, well, that's it, because there's no factories to it. They can rearm, you know, upgrade in any of their Commonwealth places and everything. But if they get destroyed, well, that should be pretty much it. And this is my suggestion to make the game more realistic and all that without, you know, the UK surrendering entirely. And in the War in Europe game, that can be adjusted to leave Canada, maybe give Canada a few more allowable bills, but just have a capital in Canada, but no convoy income and all that, because there's no factories. Canada didn't have the manpower in the factories, you know, to... Uh, or, you know, even Australia or India to support the allowable bills that the UK had in the beginning of the game. So I advise that to be a change. Okay, I will continue making if I find any more serious bugs. I know there's already been an update, you know, some minor bugs and all that. But if I find any more serious bugs, I will report them in a video here. And hopefully uh, the developers of the Strategic Command are able to watch this and the information gets through. Uh, thank you for watching.